It's incredibly possible that this is going to be the largest tourism event in Little Rock's history. It's anticipated that thousands will be coming to Arkansas for the solar eclipse on April 8th. Little Rock is one of many cities preparing for the influx. We're certain that if you're a visitor to the city of Little Rock or if you live in the city of Little Rock, you'll have an amazing opportunity to watch this event. The Little Rock Visitors and Convention Bureau and the city are partnering to make this the best experience possible. There are pre-eclipse events leading up to the historic day at SOMA, Arkansas Museum of Fine Arts, and the Museum of Discovery. Then on the big day, there will be several watch parties and the opportunity for live music. We're going to have world-renowned Pink Floyd tribute band The Machine. And what they're going to do is perform that morning leading up to totality. Take a 20 minute break so you can enjoy what's going on in silence. And then they're going to perform for another hour after that. We're preparing watch parties in a box that are going to include glasses, um, you know, snack treats like Eclipse gum and Capri Suns and uh, moon pies. And if you haven't figured out your plans yet, you still have time. We've got plenty of rooms and Little Rock is ready to welcome people here for the eclipse. From a young age, we're taught not to look directly at the sun, and that lesson still holds true during the April 8th total solar eclipse. Optometrist Bailey Zachary says it's going to take more than sunglasses to protect your eyes. You want to wear solar um, filters, so that can be a handheld filter or the eclipse glasses that you hear of, and you want to make sure that they're ISO approved. According to NASA, the only time when it's okay not to wear eye protection while looking at the sun is that brief time when the moon completely blocks it. Anytime that you're going to look at the sun without the right eye protection, you're at risk of getting something called solar retinopathy, which is actually a sunburn inside of your eye, and that can lead to permanent vision loss. And it's not just your eyes you need to worry about. Protecting your camera and phone is critical too. Austin Pittman with Bedford Camera and Video says there could be consequences if you don't have the right equipment. If you just try to take a picture of the eclipse, with your camera, you can bur actually burn out the sensor and ruin your camera or, or ruin your phone. That's why he recommends using a filter like this. You basically just this side toward the sun and just hold your phone up behind it. Pittman says it's an inexpensive solution and there's a similar filter for regular cameras. This does the job. It's customizable for different size lenses. It just goes on right like this. He tells me they've been selling lots of these filters recently. We actually had a, a class a couple of weeks ago um, and, and sold a bunch from that class. We actually also have an event coming up on the day of the eclipse. While it's an exciting event, it could do more harm than good if you don't take the necessary precautions. So it's really, really important to protect yourself during this eclipse. The 2024 solar eclipse has potential to be the largest tourism event in Arkansas's history. That expectation bringing officials from nearly every state department together, each reporting their progress and planning for the eclipse. One big question still in the air, just exactly how many people are expected to make the trip to Arkansas? Obviously the weather and some other uh, factors outside of our control can impact the number of visitors. If we have really great weather and Texas has really bad weather, then we may see an influx. RDOT calling April 8th a construction holiday, stopping all road closures and shutting down active work zones from the 5th to the 9th, hoping to ease traffic congestion and concerns about emergency response times. We will be able to use our trauma calm if there's a traumatic event to be able to um, get any patients that need to be um, transported to a hospital. More than 100 school districts across the state have already canceled class for the day. But even though students won't be in the classroom, Education Secretary Jacob Oliva urged the importance of not taking for granted this rare education opportunity. We've deployed about a million uh, glasses to the schools directly so that we can make sure our students, our teachers and parents and families are able to participate in a safe uh, uh, experience. The message from each department that in just a few short weeks, the natural state is poised to provide an exciting and safe eclipse experience. It's our goal through the eclipse to welcome many, many guests to Arkansas, have them experience uh, our natural state and come back and see us again. It's going to be a really unique opportunity that we are excited to be part of. As the total solar eclipse gets closer, some Arkansas Tech students are training for the big day and the influx of people expected on campus. We have several spots on campus that can be rented for people coming in from out of town. 
Um, all of the money that we are raising are going to our RSOs, which are registered student organizations, because they will be working with us for the event. So far, ATU Eclipse Committee Chair Susan West says out of 125 spots, about 60 are reserved. She expects all to sell out soon, though. We are very excited. I feel very prepared. I trust our students. Um, I trust the training that we're giving them, and I think it's just going to be a great, great event. Students and fraternity brothers John Highland and Garrett Womack will work on campus during the eclipse. Through their involvement in the student organization Resilience in Disasters and Emergencies, they've already received Community Emergency Response Team training. We'll be helping out this weekend when mm -hmm. um, all the other student organizations are being uh, Certified. The training covers a variety of things from first aid to natural disaster response. And we're also going to be doing a big class on radio communications, so we're able to effectively communicate between our first responders on campus, all of the people working on the Eclipse Committee during the four day stint that we'll be working here on campus. They say while they're preparing for the worst and hoping for the best, they plan to have a good time. You know, everyone's looking at it as like one big slumber party, I guess, to be able to hang out with everybody on campus for four days. Um, but it'll be it'll be a fun time. Growing up, we all felt the joy of getting a new book or reading one, and moments like that are unforgettable, especially when it's a book made special just for you. We've created a social story or a social narrative um, for our friends who are autistic or in the neurodivergent community. Social stories explain social situations to autistic children, like, for example, the solar eclipse. A day full of excitement for many, but it can be a lot for people with autism. So Kendall Thornton with the Museum of Discovery says they wanted to help. Social stories help prepare individuals for new experiences or new events. And so for someone who has autism, something as, as historic as the total solar eclipse can be pretty, you know, it can be stress inducing. It can affect, you know, impact their routine. Thornton says the illustration just helps explain to children with autism on what they can expect on April 8th. It follows a young girl named Rachel and her experiencing the eclipse with her family for the first time. So you're going to hear this, you're going to see this, you're going to experience this. This is why we want to wear glasses, you know, to protect our eyes. And although the book is following a young girl named Rachel, it hits home for a little girl named Trudy. My daughter Trudy, she is about to be six years old. She's five and she got her autism diagnosis um, when she turned three. So the first thing she'll go is, oh, wow. She, when she's excited about something, Oh, wow. Or yes, I can. That's what she likes to do when she's about to do something new. Summer Brindley is the mother of Trudy Brindley, and she says social stories have changed her daughter's life. They made it easier for her to explain big events like the solar eclipse, along with many other milestones in her life. You don't get a book on how to be a special needs parent, but I was just so excited about the in-depth detail the Museum of Discovery did with the social story and we love social stories like this. She has thrived on um, therapies and resources like this to get her where she is today. I think a lot of people show up for the events and we hope they do. We hope people come visit Mall Mill. Um, you're not going to be able to move vehicles in and out. But Maumelle Police and Fire are ready to go off-roading if need be. We looked at electronic bikes or e-bikes uh, that have stretcher capabilities. So if we had somebody hurt, we can put them on the stretcher and then we can move them out to meet the ambulance or the fire truck. And then we also looked at some of the ATVs that had a, a capability that we could put a patient on also. Maumel Fire Chief Bo Buford says they also have three new AEDs on the bikes and spent about $100,000 for everything. It's going to give us the best possible way to get to our visitors and to our residents in the city. While the fire department is ready to respond quickly to remote areas for medical emergencies, the police department plans to manage the anticipated traffic issues. We've bought equipment side by side. We've bought uh, four electric bicycles, cones, traffic barricades. To prepare. All of this comes with about a $70,000 price tag, but Captain Dustin Ivey says it's not meant for just a one-time use. The Mom L is a city full of trails, walking paths. We have probably 25 miles, I would guess, of walking paths, and that way we can put officers on these bikes or side by the side by side and get through there and, and be out in our community. Plus, Captain Ivy says the department should have all officers on duty for the eclipse and days leading up to it. So we're going to be prepared for the worst and hopefully get to send people home early if uh, 
if there's not an influx of people here. If you're thinking about where to go for the solar eclipse, uh, Maumelle is a place we hope you keep in mind because we have your safety in mind.